Science. In this video, let's find all the factors of 36. 36 is a composite number, so numbers other than 1 in itself will multiply in. Here's how I like to find factors of a number. I'm going to write 1 times 36 because 1 times 36 is 36, and then find all the numbers that multiply together that fall in between 1 and 36. So let's start. Will 2 go into 36? Yes, ends in an even number, so 2 times 18 equals 36. Will 3 go into 36? Yes, if I add 6 plus 3 is 9, and 9 is divisible by 3, so 3 times 12 equals 36. Will 4 go into 36? Yes, 4 will go into 36, and that looks like uh, 4 times 9 is 36. And will 5 go in? No, because it does not end in a 5 or a 0. Will 6 go into 36? Yes, if 2 and 3 both go into 36, then 6 will, and so it's 6 times 6. And I'm now down, there's no number between 6 and 6. So here are the factors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36. So let me scratch this out so it's not confusing. Now let's find the prime numbers of 36. So 2, let's start with uh, 2 times 18 is 36. And I like to complete a factor tree. Circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 times 9 equals 18. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And 3 times 3. Circle both of them because they are both prime. So I'm down to just prime numbers. So the prime factors of 36 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, or 2 squared times 3 squared. Now, a trick to see if we have all the factors is add 1 to each variable, excuse me, each exponent. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, and multiply those together, and that should be how many factors 36 should have. 3 times 3 is 9, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here are the factors of 36, and here are the prime factors of 36. If you need more help finding factors, this playlist should help. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.